Previously on Africa's Next Top Model, the judges sent Michelle home packing. I'm sorry, Michelle. You're leaving us. a lot. I mean, the whole experience was really great. <sighs> really sad, obviously. I loved you from day one, okay? I loved you from day one. From day one. And Amito took Michelle and Shiandre on a girls' night out sponsored by Snap. Thank you. This is gonna be nice. Yes. What happened to the rest of the girls? You guys left them alone? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Olucha oh, gets this crazy idea that she wants to dance. So we hop into the limo, drive back home, jump on the girls to wake up, and have a little party of our own. Yeah! We have so much fun! All the girls are clipping. Oh, <laughs> the girls who went out are back and screaming and screaming. Just when I was like getting into my sleep, my sweet sleep. <laughs> They're really sweet! <laughs> She's so mad! <laughs> and Rosalind was deep in sleep and they took off her blanket. <laughs> So I go and I'm like, Rosalind, wake up, wake up. And she's like, what the f***? <laughs> 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 Sorry. Rosalie. When somebody just pulled off my blanket. And so I was like, no, guys, it's not funny. I'm like, I was so pissed. And then I hear Luchi's voice. Come on, Rosalind. <laughs> Luchi wants to say <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, oh, sorry, Rosalind. Luchi's here. She's like, oh, huh? So we brought the party home. <laughs> We have a little house party at home and everyone is dancing Shandre with her famous box. Oluchi is enjoying herself so much. It almost felt like she was one of the girls. Oluchi decides to teach us this very amazing and interesting dance called the apple dance. Where you take the apple, you pretend you're eating it and then you throw it away somehow in a stylish way. Get the apple, then eat the apple and throw the apple. We all start dancing, ripping off each other's dance moves, just joking around, having fun. Coming up. <laughs> Be careful of the rats, they're this big. <laughs> I don't feel really good about the shoot. As a designer, you're not doing justice to my garment. Of all times, this is not the time to have an off day. It's like going to your first Vogue shoot and messing up, you know. Unfortunately, this was just a pure disaster. Couture and dark places you will find. Ooh. Dark places and aliens. It's not a good combination. I'm thinking we're going to go back and shoot. 
at the torture house. And for the girl who is fierce, a prize that is one of a kind. Luchi's rhyming. Snap will take the winner of today's challenge for a luxurious pampering at the Amani Spa. At the Radisson Blue. Hey! Oluchi. The reward is a spa day. So I haven't been for a facial in ages and I'd really need a massage after all of this stress. So I would really like to get this one. So I'm taking this one? Yeah, I want to win this one. <laughs> I'm in tune with my inner alien, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Connect with the inner alien. <laughs> Connect. <gasps> I really have to win this, so you know what? Those other girls, they, they should just step aside for me. I own this. another challenge in a very cold and rainy Cape Town. This is terrible. In today's computer-generated graphics, models are often asked to interact with a product or props that is not available on set, which will only be added in edit. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Carl. And welcome to a part of Cape Town not many people get to see. The very scary tunnels underneath the castle. <laughs> now I have to warn you up front, be very aware the entire day while we're shooting because those tunnels flood. So you can't wander off. So we might need to get you out really quickly. Floods in the tunnel? I'm not a good swimmer. Now your co-star today is something you're going to have to imagine. And you will only see it at the end when you see your pics. In the picture is going to be a computer graphic of an alien chasing you. So your co-star today is unseen, but you've got to feel it and work it as though it's there. Those aliens in District 9, I really don't want one of those as my co-star. Oh, and one more thing. Be careful of the rats. They're this big. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of rats in the tunnels. The hell? Floods? Rats? What's next? They're huge. They like cats. This is supposed to be Africa's next top model, not Africa's fear factor. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> Today's photographer is Ross Garrett, who is not only a fashion photographer, but works extensively in the advertising market. His direction on today's shoot will be priceless. I can't wait to see the end result. Are we supposed to look scared the whole time? Looks scared. Well, so we would be scared. Rats. They're my worst nightmare. I'll have to sleep with a Bible tonight because I'm going to be having nightmares. <laughs> Yemi is so terrified of rats. She told us stories about the rats in Nigeria and they sound similar to the ones Cole were talking about. What if as you're posing, the rats just jump on your head? That'll be a nice shot. <laughs> water levels have been rising quite quite hectically. This is this is very strong as water level. We can't if I put a ladder in here now, I'll probably get washed away yeah. underneath. The weather has come in over the last day or so and these the water levels are rising and I don't think it's safe for the girls to go in there or even we've got to put we gotta run power. It's not going to be safe, so we're going to have to look for a new location somewhere around the castle complex. Okay, we checked out the tunnel. It's not yeah. looking amazing at all. It's like this deep in the water. It's flooded. it's flooded, yeah. So lucky for you girls, no rats and... Yay! We're going to be shooting in another location that we're going to look, look for now. Okay. Yeah. So the photographer tells Carl we're changing locations because the tunnels are flooding. I think we all were so relieved because the tunnel thing, sewage thing kind of freaked me out. So about five minutes ago we were standing in the rain looking down a flooded tunnel. So we looked for a new location and true to form the sun's come out again. And um, so we found this dungeon behind us that's used for ghost tours at, on the outskirts of the castle. So this challenge would test their acting skills. This is not a movie though, it is still high fashion. So the girls need to tell the alien narrative within a fashion environment. 
they are alien princesses, right? Yeah, yeah. are gonna get chased by the princesses. So we've blocked out the eyebrows and pulled them really high up to make oh, them great. far stronger. And then the hair is one very long plait. Oh, that's gonna be good. All the way down. Yeah, that's super beautiful. I'm gonna have like a um, nice blue soft light filling the face, that's and there's gonna be a warm light um, kind of on the that, side of the face. That's great. David Clarley, his dresses are amazing. I love my dress. Since winning the Al New Talent Award in 2003, David Saleh has become a design force not only in South Africa, but also around the world. In 2005, he was appointed as head designer for Kaduchi Women, and in 2007, after focusing on his own brand, he was invited to show at Paris Couture Week. Invitations to New York Fashion Week soon followed, and his creativity has led to Tlale being hailed the king of fashion in South Africa. For us in Angola, Dave is like a best designer from Africa. I only hope that I do my best to keep me in the competition. Starting to get nervous now but I hope that everything will work out well. Ouch. Hey. Are you kidding me? Is that a person? When I got to on set and I saw the dead-ish body, that's when I, I started to get scared. Hello. Hi, I'm Ross. I'm Ito. Nice to meet you. It's basically like a post-apocalyptic dungeon and there's an alien coming through that window over there and you're going to be kind of moving away from it so it's very very dramatic okay. um, you're going to use the wall as much as you can mm -hmm. but I can take you through when you're in your shots exactly what we're going to be doing it's a bit of acting involved today okay, great. cool, you've got 30 shots um, all the girls are going to get it exactly the same today mm -hmm. I think for, for your 30 frames let's keep it like basically all in your own thoughts the whole time and stay in that state of like drama and panic Yes. You can't find some pizza. Uh, just uh, let me call Crystal. Crystal! I don't know if I have a scared emotion that tells you this is fear, but I think that the photographer helped me a lot by telling me to open my lips a little bit, so it brought out the emotion. Full of drama on your mouth, like open your lips a little bit, like it'll help to like just take a breath of air in and turn, turn your body. Keep it dramatic in your face and your body. So just like feel it, like so it's believable. Feel it in your whole body. That's great. Okay, so Amita, we got five more. The photographer goes bang, 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 and then he tells me, oh, you have five frames left. And I'm like, what? So I have to make sure that I nail these five frames that are left. Why is the light moving? Oh, jeez, you think? <gasps> no! You. I will never forgive you. Are you okay? Sorry. That was really, really good, eh? I hate you. I think Amita did great, yeah. I mean, like, she kind of also fits the genre of what we're try trying to achieve today quite well. Her dark, dark complexion helps immensely with the blue lights on her skin. Um, like, I found sometimes... Um, even if her body was, was showing the emotion we needed to, sometimes it was lacking a little bit um, in her eyes and maybe in her mouth. But, but other than that, I think she did very well. Somebody scared me. I thought something was coming from up. I don't know. So it was really frightening because the room is already gothic and I saw a dead body there. So, ah, oh, yeah. Just blank as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep positive. <laughs> it's freezing. I'm Ross. I'm Yemi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's that? This. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's my assistant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we're gonna do 30 frames, but change it up as much as possible per shot. Just like give it all for 30 frames. That's beautiful. A little bit more towards camera. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Back over past the stand. We've got about five frames left. Okay. Oh, jeez, 
<laughs> and then at the end of the shoot, <laughs> I look up and I see a rat. Opeyemi is really scared of rats because she said that in Nigeria there are these rats that eat people's fingers and feet and then they get to blow so that you don't feel the pain till you wake up. Enough of this whole girls and rats drama, please. Come on, Yemi. Yemi, um, she worked her body pretty well. Um, I, don't, I don't think she completely got the mix between the acting and the, the fashion sort of poses, but, but I think um, there's a couple frames that, that I think she could be happy with. Man, this was my fastest shoot ever. Everything just went quick, 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 quick. Um, I feel amazing. I love my look, so I go do my best. Michaela. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Michaela. So you, you basically, I'm not going to put a mark on the floor, so you're just going to have to check that you're in the center of this light, because this is the main source that's going to hit you from the front. We're going to shoot about 30 frames, so um, just give it your all in all those frames. Working with the photographer was great because he's amazing he tell me what i need to do what uh, what is important in shooting so i think this make me do very very quickly that's beautiful lift your chin and work your face up in that direction okay <laughs> I see the rat most. <laughs> so scared. <laughs> Michaela, I think, I think she was amazing. Like, um, she's got an amazing presence in front of camera. She's got this quiet, sort of soft soul. I don't think she was as dramatic as maybe we needed her to be, but I think she interpreted it in her own way. Obviously, she's got her own presence and her own look, and I think she interpreted it beautifully. I walk into the dungeon and I see this corpse just laying there and I just totally freak out. Oh, I have a fear. For like dead bodies and stuff. What's wrong? Hello, I'm Ross. Hello. <laughs> Ross. Russell. Nice to meet you. I thought it was a dead person. Oh they no. <laughs> we wouldn't we wouldn't put a we wouldn't put a dead person yeah. in. Yeah. It's just gave me fright of No, life. don't don't worry. After freaking out so much, I got told that it's not an actual dead body. I mean it's it's part of like a ghost tour for kids' parties. Love the stuff, girl. She got scared of dead body and she shed like five hundred pins there. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine there's this like presence in the room with you, face on it, work your right hand close to your face. It's super dramatic on your face. Turn it up a little bit. But not too much overacted, it's still gonna be like very, very subtle and still in the fashion world. It feels a little bit static. I'm scared. Uh, remember you've got an action yeah. and an emotion. So your action is what you fleeing, right? And your emotion is what? Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Just keep your body fresh and keep it moving. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you so much, eh? Nice to meet you. I was actually really, really very terrified. So the aftermath is like trying to picture that moment where I was really terrified. She looked amazing in front of camera. Her garment looked incredible, but I, I think at times um, she battled to find a balance between the narrative that we're trying to create and um, general posing fashion language that, that would like accentuate the garment and make her look amazing. Are you ready? 
you feed them. Yes. Okay? <laughs> so. You'll get in the sun now, you'll be fine. The thought of aliens really freaked me out. How cool does this look? It's rad, eh? Yeah? It's super rad. He's on the Matrix Latin today. Shit. People that sound like everybody. Cole grabs me. Have you seen this? I'm like, oh. So I think, like, you should also match your look, you know? It's like, sort of very strong and sexy. Like, work with that. Work with what you're wearing. Work with that idea. I get to be sexy. <laughs> Ross tells me to be sexy. And as soon as I hear the word sexy, I'm like, really not going to happen. Every elimination, they criticize me because I'm too sexy. <laughs> Must be tough, huh? <laughs> So let's go straight into it and you can start getting into the, the idea. Okay. That's cool. I'm very dramatic. Down there. No, no, that's cool. What I thought about and planned to do, like kind of prepare me for what's gonna happen, wasn't anything that actually happened. So I don't think my shoot went that well. That's cool. That's beautiful. Yeah, go, go, go. Hey. Ross is so quick. I didn't have a chance to think about what I wanted to do to take in the environment and the clothes that I was wearing. Last 10. Still 10 more. That's beautiful. That's great. Cool, let's change it up now. Last three frames. Yeah, cross. It felt like I was thrown in the deep end this side. That's cool. Nice, Chandra. I'm a done. Done. Oh, that's cute. Good Everyone job. Everyone comes back and they're like, it's so quick. I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> not. 30 frames went by so quickly. It was literally a minute. I took my first picture and before I knew it, they're like, okay, bye, you finished. Oh, what do you mean I'm finished? I, I've only done one pose. Yeah, she, Andre, I mean, I, I think she's definitely got that sexy bombshell vibe about her. And she pulls that off really, really well. Sometimes it felt to me like she was, she would almost half get into something and then kind of be a bit safe about it. I think, I think her upper body worked quite well and her face works well, but I think her legs sometimes are a little bit static. For me right now, I don't feel really good about the shoot, so as long as I just get to stay, that'll be good enough for me. I can do without a spa session. Um, Amito and Michaela are like, for me, by far the top. Um, I think they're very different in terms of who they are as models, but um, they've got some, both got something really, really special. I'm very negative about my shoot today. I don't know how to feel. It was the worst shoot I've had for the whole competition. I enjoyed my shooting. Did you actually enjoy this one? Yeah, yeah the she first did. time. When she came for the first time, she, <laughs> had, she, said, she said she enjoyed her shoot. I don't know. I feel good. Sometimes you think you've done your greatest, mm -hmm. and then you go to judging, and then they it's shot a you. <laughs> yeah, it's a different story altogether. We're all like very worried about our shoots because it went by so quickly before anybody could blink. So we get back from the shoot, and everyone else is talking about how the shoot went, and possibly waiting for another death mail, and bang. It comes. Ah. My so, hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Hope you did your best in today's challenge. Really? Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., you will face the judges. Ooh. But uh, Rosam came out with the day smile. And at first it seemed like a quite standard death mail and she scrolls down and it says Unfortunately, two models will be leaving the house and we will be left with only three. You're such a liar. You lie. Make me believe you. 
Wow. Oh. You're such a liar. Oh. Okay. Two girls go home, but I don't go home. I don't want to go home now, so I want to stay. My. That's what I know this. She's going to die. Two girls are going home. Two girls are going home. I was like, you lying. But why? We thought we had two, two more eliminations. Oh, Yemi, Kotai, when she listened. Yemi! 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 Hello ladies, <laughs> hope you did your best in today's challenge. <laughs> Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. you will face the judges. <laughs> dot, dot, <laughs> dot, <laughs> dot, 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 Unfortunately, <laughs> two models will be living. Exactly. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. yes. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, two models <laughs> will be leaving the house and we'll be left with only three. And I'm one of the three, so <laughs> I don't know about you. Serious. <laughs> you guys watch it. Seriously. So we wake up Opiemi because she was asleep when the death mail arrived and she could not believe it. No, why would we find something it. like I this? She read it. <laughs> And I thought she wasn't serious. Yo, so I grabbed it from true. her and read it. And then she read it and she read it. Oh my God. Please go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm like, we need to pray together. <laughs> and then there's an awkward silence where everybody's like, you can actually insert crickets here right now. Wow. After all the laughing, do you realize that when we laugh, and then we're silent yeah, again. And then it all sinks in and we're like, oh, no, you guys have, as in for the first time, this is actually a death to me. Exactly. Seriously. Oh They're still gonna look at our overall performance. That's what you think. So you feel that you're safe. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Hey, I don't feel like anybody is safe. Hello? What's up? Uh -huh. Nothing. How are you? I'm not fine. Mm. Oh, I'm so depressed what? right now. The mere fact that we are in the top five makes us all potentially able to be in the top three. But I, I, I want to be in the top three. I have to be in the top three. Tonight we got a message from Oluchi saying that two girls are leaving tomorrow. Oh, okay. It was supposed to only be one. I believe in myself and I know I have what it takes, but then again, I'm not, I cannot decide for myself because it's a competition and I'm being judged, so so from five, they're cutting us straight to three. Okay. When we when we only knew that one person is going home, so like everybody's now stressed. We don't know what's going to happen. I would w really, really want to be in the competition because I mean, it's it's what I've always wanted. It's it's why I'm here. It's what I've been breaking my back to try and get at. I'm so scared right now. Don't worry. We're supposed to be leave one girl and now go leave it too. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. Africa's next top model will receive a modeling contract from DNA Models in New York along with 50,000 US dollars in cash and a product endorsement campaign from P&G. She will also receive a 12-month contract as a SNAP ambassador to start off her career.
Hi ladies. Hi. We've come such a long way from our first episodic challenge. We had 12 girls and now we're left with just five. And it's another elimination day. So let's see how many of you will be going home today. But before we start, let's say hello to our judges. Model, icon and photographer, Josie Borain. Resident judge and photographer, Remy Adetiba. And our special guest judge for today, the amazing designer, David Klale. For your last challenge, you were supposed to envision being chased by an alien and translate that into a fashion language. Let's see how you all did. We're gonna start with Michaela. Let's look at your best picture. Josie, um, what do you think? Um, I must say, I saw a few pictures uh, before we came to set, and I think she pulled her weight in this one. I think she really gave a lot more than she's given in other shoots. Mm. If I watched your video and I felt like something had changed. It's like you have... Have you been doing what we discussed? I look myself in the mirror and say, I can't do this, some best, so <laughs> and, let's do this. And that picture shows you can do this. So fantastic, great job. Thank you. I saw a few images before the show, so I think uh, you have something that's going on, but there's an element of you holding back, being scared of just giving it all out. Just remember, you have one chance in this competition. Thank you. I think, you know, what, one thing that makes a great model is when your physical beauty aligns with your moods in every shot. This is the first time you actually have some sort of great picture. So, well done. Thank you. Well done. Okay, you can go. Next is Okwayemi. Let's look at your best picture. Um, okay, I have to say I'm disappointed. I, I've come to expect great modeling and great movement from you, and I just didn't get that this time. You know, I think you got too much into the acting side of things and not, and you forgot the model. So keep that in mind. I, I don't get the sense of, oh my God, I'm petrified. Yeah, it's a wrong emotion. Wrong it's emotion, portrayed. but yeah. great, you know, pose. David? First of all, you don't know your good side. You don't know your, your strong side in you. You don't see any of that coming here. So this whole shoot just fell just like right to the floor. Um, Unfortunately, this was just a pure disaster. Thank you. Next is Ruslan. Let's look at your best shot. It's a beautiful picture on her face. She looks scared. Um, you got the face. What I didn't love was your body positioning. I mean, even your best shot there, you had the you know, hand on your hip. This was, I'm scared, yet, hey, look at me. It didn't quite work. Josie? Um, I, do, I do think when, when they go close up on the shot of your face, you do look scared, which is the brief. Yeah, she looked gorgeous. Look, the face on the shot it portrays exactly the brief, but the body part is like some girl from next door who doesn't know what to do with the couture piece that is so beautifully designed. As a designer, you're not doing justice to my garment. As a designer, you're not just, you're not giving me anything. How am I supposed to sell this garment on my runway with you walking for me? Right now, for me, this is just like not working. Only here, it's working. Going down, it's not working. And unfortunately, we're not only about pretty faces. It's the package. And if you are going to be Africa's next top model, you've got to be able to sell everything. Shoes, dress, face, hair, everything. Right now, not for me. Thank you, Ruslan. Okay. Next up is Shiandri. Let's look at your best shots. Yeah. Josie, what do you think? I love the hair, hair piece. Yeah. Look, for me, having watched Andre right from the start, mm -hmm. this is not one of her strongest mm -hmm. um, Picture. pictures. Of all times, this is not the time to have an off day. 
<laughs> it's like going to your first Vogue shoot and messing up, you know. One thing that I, I'm going to say to all the girls, when you jump into a designer's dress, you have to transform into the dress. The dress is a diva, cheeky, hot dress. And the challenge is, is like you need, to, you need to look like something's really scaring you. And there's nothing that comes through here. And this dress gave you options to do it. So next time when you jump into a, into a dress, look at the dress, feel it, and just experience it. Play around with it and give the photographer something to take home with. You'd be having amazing pictures with us. Thank you, Shia. Thanks, God. And next is Amito. Let's look at your best picture. Josie, oh, what do you... Fantastic. Brilliant. I think she, she's captured it in every sense. She was believable, she gave the expression, she gave the body movements, and she worked the hell out of this amazing creation from David. And there is an element of emotion coming in, and I think which is like, you've nailed it. You've, you, you're able to showcase their garment, your strong features, and I think you know what works for you, and that's the only thing you need is in this industry. Use what you know works for you, and it will take you very far. Well done. Now it's time for us judges to deliberate. When you come back, we'll let you know which of you will be leaving us. Thank you. You can go. So, what are we thinking? It's a mixed bag today, wasn't it? I think Amito, she's one of those girls that takes herself seriously and she understands why she's here. One, first of all, out of all the girls, she put herself together, like head to toe. She, she knows she's at work. And she jumps into any piece or any character, she's gonna work it. It's one of those girls that you like, you have to keep coaching and coaching and then she grows and blossom and become really a rock superstar. I think she's got it, Amita. I think she's 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 just the package. What are we thinking works. about, uh, Michaela? I agree with David that she's not 100% there, but trust me when I tell you, she's so much better than she was before. Seeing the images, you can tell that she's got potential. She's got it, but she just she's not using it. Yeah. We all have emotional issues. Yeah. But hers happened. Michaela's story happened to be a little bit different. You know, she lost her mother and her father not too long ago. So that sort of always get in the way of her emotion. Yeah. What about Okbayemi? She falls flat. I mean, looking at all the other images within this challenge, she's, she's not giving it. Which is such a surprising thing because Okbayemi really is that girl who knows how to use her body. I always say she models a few extra inches than she even has in her body. But here she just failed. Exactly. The fact that she doesn't know what she should be doing with the lights and the camera, that's something that as a model who's been doing this for long enough, she should know. Shihandre. Shihandre, I'm not gonna say anything. Please do. I'm just gonna say no. She has given us great work. No doubt. Which Nobody. is why we have to think twice and not just look at this photo. Okay. okay. What do we think about Ruslan? David, it's another no. <laughs> <laughs> Rosalind, I'm... Um, it's no. a No. See, okay. told you, That's double very easy. Remy. I love the face. I'm, I'm, with every, I'm with you on the body just being a fail. No. Josie? Um, I don't think she does David's dress justice. No. She doesn't look scared enough. I mean, even though she looks concerned and worried, it just didn't work. For me, it's a no. I guess we've reached our decision. Looks Let's like call it. them back in. Welcome back, ladies. We have reached our decision. I have five of you standing before me, but only have few pictures in my hands. And these few pictures represent the girls that would continue towards becoming Africa's next top model. The reward for this challenge is a spa treatment at the Amani Spa of the Radisson Blue Hotel, courtesy of SNAP. 
The first name that I'm going to call is the name voted by the judges as the best picture in this challenge. Amito. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Africa's next top model. You're welcome. And the second name that I'm going to call is Michaela. Congratulations. Ruslan, Shiandre, and Okoyemi, step forward, please. Shiandre, your biggest asset is your confidence and your determination. And you've made a lot of progress from day one. You know, you've won quite a few challenges, but unfortunately today your picture didn't come out as great. Ruslan, you're a potential model and you've made a lot of progress as well. And your images today wasn't so great either. Okoyemi, you have a typical look of a great model. You know, your proportions are perfect. Um, you look like a perfect runway model. But sometimes in your fashion editorial shoots, you don't come out as being great. That being said, how many of you will make it in addition to those two? The last picture on my hands is Oh my God. You're still in the running towards becoming Africa's next top model. Shiandre and Ruslan. Keep on smiling. <laughs> it works for you. The smile works for you, right? Real. Thanks, Next time on Africa's Next Top Model. Our water task in this. The water like is freezing. The hell? I'm sorry, Michaela. 